Sonic Generations. But if I don't get an S rank, the video ends. Let's get this started. I wonder how radical he really is. Alrighty, on to Green Hell Zone. And this is when the ranking system in Sonic games starts to decline. It became pretty easy to get S ranks. I mean, Forces was slightly harder to an extent, but it wasn't that hard at all. And plus, it was Forces, so what do you expect from that? And you know, I miss the days when, you know, we had challenging S ranks or A ranks. I was in the Adventure Games, you know, like, get a lot of rings, had a higher score, but, you know, take down a lot of enemies and, like, do a bunch of bonus points and stuff like that, too. And while beating the stage as fast as you can, I miss that a lot. Hopefully, the next Sonic game has brings back a uh, challenging ranking system. I mean, the ones in Frontiers are just, like, you know, is good. I mean, it's basically timed. S rank, so not really, you know, nothing to write home about. But, I mean, they're good enough. I miss, like, what's it called? You have, like, put actual effort into S ranks. Heck, Colors had a way better ranking system. And that's, like, the most easiest Sonic game by far, pretty much. And that's how it is. I mean, it's Sega, so what can you expect from that? And also, uh, another thing, too, Sonic Control is really good in this game. I. This is the best Sonic has controlled in a boost game by far, like, it's so tight, responsive. Every time you stop or, you know, your pace, like, it's, he stops, it's not, like, slippery and me. Only his controls are not bad at all. I like them a lot, but personally, like, they can be a little bit slippery at times. But Generations just feels so smooth. And Frontiers, you know, Cyrus Pace, it's, mmm, alright, but not the best, and, and Open World is pretty good, too. That's the best, you know, the controls in, the, in that game pretty much are. But yeah, this that definitely takes the cake as the best movement in a Sonic game by far. And we don't talk about forces at all, so yeah. And you're in the stage, and... What's it called? Got an S rank, so there we go. Alrighty, on to the next stage. Now we're on to peak level design right here. This is a really good stage. In my opinion, one of the best stages in the entire game. I mean, I prefer the OG rooftop run, but personally, like, this is a really good stage. Like, the pathways are really good. Like, it's also, like, well designed. Like, everything about the stage is just perfection. Like, like I said before, I still prefer the Unleashed version, but this is still a really good, you know, stage. And yeah, it does copy some, you know, level design from Unleashed, but, like, as expected, like, they just want to replace the most iconic moments. Which makes sense. Should be very straightforward, I mean... No issue here, I mean, like, it's a very... I know it's inside and out, so... Not gonna be, uh... Much of an issue here. But, we'll see. Okay... Let's see if I can pull up the shortcut. Um, it's like after this, well, after the part you drift. It's, uh, very difficult to pull off when you're, uh, what's it called? Trying to maintain speed, so we'll see. There we go. Or cut. We're close to the end of stage two, so hey. All I gotta do is what's it called, like, all right, to uh, hold the short, you know, three uh, endings right here. I mean, it's very simple. You just go to a uh, keep boosting. That's why I prefer the unleash one more because like you can like rail glide in this section too in unleash, but like it's just very straightforward. Then again, this one's Sonic game started to play it safe, so nothing to worry about that. And in the stage, so let's see what we got here. Okay, S rank, easy go. What? 